10 methods to make your phone's battery live longer. Is your phone's battery taking a toll on your mental energy? If your answer is yes, then you are watching the right video. Today, we will count down the top 10 methods to make your phone's battery live longer. And without further ado, let's dive straight into the details. Number 10, always keep the brightness down. We get it that your phone might be super gorgeous, but the screen brightness is draining its battery. Unfortunately, most of the time, we often do not care about the light exposure on the screen. So what happens as a consequence? Well, we keep the phone's brightness much higher than it should be. So what can you do to fix this major issue? Don't worry, it is not that complicated. Just turn down the brightness. Then keep it low until it is at a dim setting that is usable. You can adjust this basic display setting on your phone settings or even by pulling down the notification bar. If you follow these steps, you can save your phone from always dying in most occasions. So note it down, folks. Number 9. Adopt the dark mode in your phone Let's move forward to the ninth step on our list. But note that it is only applicable for users with a recent phone like Samsung Galaxy S9 or iPhone XS. Thanks to the dark mode feature introduced in few smartphones now, according to the test by PowerPuff, the battery life of an iPhone could get extended by 30%. But of course, it only applies when a person is using a dark aesthetic display. Besides iOS, Android also shows a significant improvement in the battery. Google Pixel did a research on night mode and found stunning conclusions. According to the study, Google Pixel phones draw 63% less energy while using the night mode display. These differences are significant and can add up to remarkable results over time. But hey, here is a catch. This technique only works with OLED screens because every pixel in this display is individually illuminated. LCD or LED screens cannot accommodate the same due to using the same power in both white or black images. On the other hand, black pixels do not draw any power on OLED screens. Isn't the dark mode a great way to improve battery with such low efforts? Go on and try it now on your phone. Number 8. Embrace Low Power Mode Smart Battery Mode we live in the 21st century, so today's devices have an inbuilt low power mode or smart battery mode. The battery saving feature can be found in both Android and iOS devices, but what do these features do exactly and how are they helpful? Well, it helps to cut back on various functions like CPU usage, notifications, and screen brightness. Limiting them down saves you a lot of battery on your device. You might be wondering the ways to enable such a helpful feature. Firstly, the power saving automatically gets activated when your phone's battery is sufficient. But on the other hand, you can enable it manually at your convenience. As a result, there is not much difference in terms of functionality, but the performance deteriorates. Don't worry, you need not turn this mode all the time unless your usage lasts up to a few hours or we want to cut down on distractions. The low power mode is one of the most innovative techniques to reduce strain in your device's battery. So what are you waiting for? Go on and try it now. Number 7. Let your camera be free. Are you a selfie addict who likes to click pictures all the time, or are you someone who randomly does video calls to people? If you are using your phone's camera for a long duration, its battery will likely go down. Be it photos or videos, all of them drain all that energy from your device. Even the usage of flash does not help in this context. The first and foremost thing you can do is limiting down on clicking too many pictures or recording videos. Apart from that, image chatting apps like Instagram, Snapchat, and Skype are the game's villains. Do check them out on your device and uninstall if not required. You can thank me later, but before that, let's look at the sixth point in this video. Number 6. Managing Wi-Fi and Bluetooth Devices If you often leave your phone's Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on for no reason, it is indeed high time to change your habit. But how do these tiny features drain the battery on your device? Well, do not exaggerate much on the small part here, but Wi-Fi or Bluetooth involves scanning networks and connecting devices, so the reason is apparent. Every function or task on your phone requires energy in the form of a battery. It might not be an issue for those moving from one place with Wi-Fi to another, and let us say that you reach your office from your home. Turning such services on will not be a big deal then. But on the contrary, if you are using Wi-Fi or any similar feature without utilizing it, then that will be a foolish decision. So what can you do in such a scenario to save battery? Well, just turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as per the requirements. You can also get brownie points if you're using an Android smartphone. Automatic Wi-Fi could be enabled that scans for networks without turning your Wi-Fi on. So that is a win-win situation for saving up the battery. Number 5. Turn off push notifications Do some apps bother you multiple times a day by showing unnecessary notifications along with troubling you? They are also draining a significant amount of battery. The best way to overcome this is by going to the app settings and turning off the notifications. Such unnecessary reminders could be switched off for as many apps as you like. Number 4. If possible, charge your phone slowly. 
There is no denying that technology is getting updated at a very high pace. Along with the latest applications and features, the fast charging method has proven a great time saver. Do you want to know a simple way for maximizing your phone's battery lifespan in the long run? Well, the answer is not really complicated at all. You just need to save up the battery for emergencies. Because we all know that fast charging can put a toll on your battery and damage it. This point is highly applicable to those who use old smartphones. If possible, always try to refill your phone's battery slowly. You might have heard the phrase that good results take time. The same applies in the case of mobile technology or batteries. To be more specific, so, how can you actually charge your device at a slow pace? Let me share a helpful piece of information for you here. Using a computer or laptop as a charging alternative is the best way to ease the charging process. Number 3. Effective Management of Location Services If I ask you one of the mobile phone's most innovative and helpful features, you would probably include location services in the list. Various apps have been launched for both Android and iOS devices in this context. They help you to track the exact location of your mobile phone and support their services. The question comes here, how do these apps manage to track location with so much accuracy? Thanks to the constant evolution of technology nowadays, a combination of Wi-Fi, GPS, and cell tower locations get utilized to perform this task. More services equate to the drainage of more battery life. So how can we overcome this battery wastage usage? First, you can give access to your location services only when the app is in usage. To ensure that you're not wasting battery life, it's best to let these apps access your location services only when using the app. Second, try to switch from conventional technology to adaptive one. Number 2. Do not go extremes with your battery percentage Are you one of those people who believe in fully charging your battery and draining it completely to maintain the battery life? We cannot blame you alone here because most people believe in calibrating batteries for improved performance. We wish that such a mechanism was accurate, but sadly batteries do not work like this anymore. Unlike older battery types, the current lithium-ion batteries do not follow this trick. You will be shocked to know that calibrating lithium batteries might actually hurt their lifespan. Try to charge your battery at 60% as compared to 100%. Do not attempt this and you will notice the difference in no time. Partial charging works the best for today's batteries. Let me share a pro top with you. Do not charge your phone more than 80% and do not drop lower than 30%. Number 1. Avoid overcharging Leaving your phone to charge overnight and finding the battery to reach 100% the following day might seem intimidating, but here is the catch. This practice shortens the battery lifespan in the long term. The battery gets subjected to higher stress, voltage, and heat when kept at 100% charge. So change your habit now and save your phone's battery. This brings us to the end of this video. If you know any other useful tip to share, drop it down in the comment section. Also, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.